हाय दोस्तों इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व फ्यू क्वेश्चंस इन फैक्ट फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू मोशन अंडर ग्रेविटी ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वन अ हॉट एयर बलून स्टार्ट राइजिंग विद एन एक्सलरेशन ऑफ टेन बाई एट विच इज़ वन पॉइंट टू फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर फ्रॉम ग्राउंड आफ्टर एट सेकेंड ऑफ इट स्टार्ट द स्टोन इज ड्रॉप्ड फ्रॉम इट एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड हाइट वेलासिटी एंड एक्सलरेशन ऑफ द स्टोन जस्ट बिफोर जस्ट आफ्टर इट इज ड्रॉप्ड एंड मैक्सिमम हाइट अटेंड बाय द स्टोन एंड द टाइम टोटल टाइम टू रिटर्न टू द ग्राउंड ओके लेट से आई शुड ड्रॉ अ डायग्राम लेट से दिस इज ग्राउंड ओके दिस इज ग्राउंड एंड इट स्टार्ट राइजिंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट एट सेकेंड्स ओके दिस इज फर्स्ट एट सेकेंड्स इन इंटरवल ओके सो अप टिल दिस टाइम इट इज एक्सलरेटिंग विद एन एक्सलरेशन ऑफ टेन बाई एट सो वी कैन से यू इज जीरो फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू बी ए टू बी की बात कर रहे हैं दिस इज द सोल्यूशन ए टू बी यू इज जीरो एक्सलरेशन इज प्लस टेन पॉइंट टेन बाई एट एंड दिस इज द एक्सलरेशन नेट एक्सलरेशन ऑफ द हॉट एयर बलून ओके सो एंड टाइम इज टाइम इंटरवल इज एट सेकेंड्स सो वी कैन फाइंड वट इज डिसमेंट ए बी एज यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वेयर हाफ ए टी स्क्वेयर यू इज जीरो सो इट विल बी हाफ इंटू टेन बाई एट इंटू एट स्क्वेयर and that will be uh, it 40 meters so this is nothing but 40 meters so velocity at b is u plus at u is 0 so at will be 10 meter per second okay so i can say this is 40 meter and velocity at point b is 10 meter per second and this is 40 meters okay so what about velocity just after it is released in fact this is the velocity of balloon okay velocity of balloon and height of balloon when the stone is released from it okay so velocity of balloon is same as or we can say velocity of stone is same as velocity of balloon because they are moving together so velocity of stone just after it is released just after release will be same as plus 10 meter per second the stone will move upward again a person from ground will appear that the stone is moving upward even after it is released okay so it will move up a bit up and then it will stop at c then the returning motion will be c to a okay so how much it will further move we can say b to c acceleration of stone as it is in air will be g downwards with proper sign convention upward positive downward negative we can say it will be Minus ten meter per second square. Initial velocity is velocity at B, which is plus ten, and final velocity at maximum height, V at C, will be zero. Obviously, otherwise it will go further. So velocity at C is zero. We can say uh, for height, for displacement, V square equal to U square plus two A S. We can get. S as u square by two a, the minus sign. So it will be ten square by two into ten with the minus sign here and here also. So we'll get five meter. It will further move by five meter. So the maximum height from the ground will be forty five. 
AC will be 45 and uh, the time total time it will take this is 8 second and from B2 returning A again you should have watched uh, videos before this in which I can easily B to A via C B to A via C I can say displacement is simply so displacement from B to A no matter what the path is is minus 40 meter and uh, acceleration as the stone is in air acceleration is minus 10 and uh, initial velocity which is velocity at B is plus 10 using this and using s is equal to ut plus half a t square I can get s is equal to ut plus half a t square as s is minus 40 u is plus 10 t minus 5 t square on solving we can find the time as it will be 4 seconds okay after b so the total time total time is nothing but 8 plus 4 means 12 seconds okay so let's just recapitulate uh, find height velocity and acceleration when it is just dropped so height is 40 meter velocity is plus 10 uh, acceleration just before just before is plus 10 by 8 because it is same as acceleration of balloon but acceleration just after acceleration just after is minus 10 as it is in air velocity and height will remain same just after maximum height attained is 45 meter so 40 plus 5 and the total time taken to return is 12 water drops are falling from tap from height h above such that when first hit the ground fourth is just released we have to find the height of second third drop from the ground okay let make a ground and this is the tap okay this is the fourth drop which is just about to fall and the first drop has reached here so the second will be somewhere here third will be somewhere here second and third drops if this distance is x the law of odd number says the next consecutive distance will be 3x and this will be 5x so we can say the total height the total height will be 5x plus 3x plus x so that is nothing but h hence the height of second drop height of second drop is 5x so we get x as h by 9 and it will be 5x which is 5h by 9 height of third drop will be simply 8x so 8h by 9 okay in the next question a ball is dropped from a building covers 9 by 25th of the total height in the last second of its fall find the height of the building okay let let the fall let the fall be of n seconds okay so we can say displacement in n nth second or displacement in last second which is nth second is u plus a by 2 2 n minus 1 okay using that we can say 9 by 25 h h is the height of the building u is initial velocity 0 this is g by 2 into 2 n minus 1 whereas displacement and displacement in n seconds is basically h which is u into n uh, plus half g into n square u is 0 so it will be this so we have another equation h is equal to half g n square by dividing these equations we can get 9 by 25 is nothing but 2 n minus 1 over n square we can easily guess that n is nothing but 5 and we get the value of h h is half g n square so g is 10 and n is 5 
so we'll get as how much 125 meters the height of the building okay resolve these questions at least twice only then they will be beneficial for you okay enjoy